Hey everybody, NBC5 Weather Forecaster Brigham Harris here. Excited to give you a quick look at our forecast in the coming days. Let's take a look at the Almanac as it uh, compares to our temperatures that we saw today. A lot warmer than years past, actually. We are above the average, but not as warm as last year at this, uh, at this time on this day. December 20th, 2019 was 63 degrees, but about 30 years ago, also it was 8 degrees at night, so lucky we're not even close to that either. If we look at our satellite radar, this is what we experienced today on Sunday. These are the last six hours. As you can see, a little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of precipitation, but that is all dissipating now. We are going to be seeing some more clear skies tonight, but we do have a bit of weather coming our direction. If you take a look at over the Pacific Ocean, we have this front coming our way, and we saw, we talked about yesterday, most of this is impacting uh, Seattle and Portland area. They're getting a lot of precipitation but it is making its way down to us. We are going to be seeing a couple of fronts, a little bit of stormy weather coming our way from the north, but as of right now, it's only affecting really northern uh Eugene, Northern uh, Oregon into uh, Portland, maybe Vancouver, Washington, but that is all going to change. Watches and warnings. These are some things that we need to keep an eye out on, especially right around Crater Lake area. That uh, purple that you see is a winter weather advisory and the beige color is more of wind or excuse me, wind advisory. So the combination of the two right around Crater Lake, which is right around here in this area is going to be, um, you know, if you are expecting to go up to Crater Lake some point this week, be careful because tomorrow is mainly when these advisories are in place, but it could affect uh, driving conditions in the coming days. Let's take a look at our pinpoint forecast. Speaking of the coming days, this is what we have to expect. Sunday, it is going to clear out as you can see, and then Monday, this front comes in from the north and right here, Monday 7 p.m. is where a lot of this storm is going to be uh, making its, its real mark. We're going to be seeing a lot of precipitation. We'll see a couple inches of snow in some areas, even over a foot of snow at Crater Lake. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. Mount Ashland should expect to get some snow, but as you can see, this storm goes away quickly. All day Tuesday is going to be clear and then into Wednesday and Thursday will be clear as well, dropping some of the temperatures. But uh, speaking of that snow, let's take a look. All of a sudden uh, on Monday evening and, and into the night, Monday evening, Tuesday morning, we're going to be seeing a lot of snowfall. Lake of the Woods should see half of a foot. Crater Lake should expect a foot or more of snow down here. Mount Ashland should expect a little bit of snow as well, so that's good to add to the base there. Other than that, it's going to be very light, very scattered uh, east of the Cascades, maybe a little bit west of the Cascades in our valleys. Not a whole lot will accumulate on the ground as far as the Rogue Valley is concerned, but uh, just be expecting some snow on the mountains come uh, Tuesday morning. Now let's take a look at tonight and tomorrow for the coast. Here are our temperatures, nothing colder than 50 degrees. Oh, excuse me, Brookings will dip just below 50 um, for tonight. That is uh, expected when we have some rain. We do have a, a thunderstorm uh, chance tomorrow during the day along the coast. That is in um, some select areas, but for the most part, the coast should be expecting a little bit of stormy weather. Now tonight for the West Valleys, expect cloud cover throughout the night and then into tomorrow, expect a chance of rain. This is not going to be a whole lot, but as the day progresses, it is going to be a little bit more considering we have that storm coming our way tomorrow night. East of the Cascades, here are some temperatures for tonight and tomorrow. Again, with that wind advisory for uh, Lane County, as well as some of Klamath and some of uh, Douglas County, uh, there is that wind advisory, so some blowing wind, some blowing snow could be an effect on the driving conditions when it is uh, when it comes to visibility. Now let's look at the seven-day forecast for the Rogue Valley. For tomorrow night into Tuesday, expect some rain and snow depending on the elevations. The uh, snow elevation is actually going to drop from 6,500 feet, which is Mount Ashland's base elevation, to down below 1,000 feet overnight, so it's going to get very cold very quick. Look at the Klamath Basin. Speaking of cold, Wednesday and Thursday, when it clears up, you're going to see those temperatures dip and into Friday, you're going to be some clear skies Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday is when that precipitation is actually going to come back for the Klamath Basin. You'll see the same trend for the Northern California area as it does uh, start to um, clear up. The only time is that Northern California is going to see a little bit of rain and snow with that, uh, with that storm we just talked about, but it is going to dissipate as it crosses the border from Oregon to California. So some clear skies just until Christmas, and then you should expect some rain and snow. As for the coast, a little bit of the same story. It's going to clear up, and you'll see temperatures dip to the low to mid-30s for the lows, but the highs are going to stay nice and in the 50s.